Stop. He's got to do nice tutorial. Hi. Welcome to beautiful Kernersville, North Carolina. Tonight I'm going to be giving a little bit of a tutorial on how to get a nice campfire going and how to make s'mores. S'mores are a delicious dessert that are made from great ingredients. Wholesome things like Hershey's chocolate, which is manufactured in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Jet Puff marshmallows, America's number one marshmallow brand. Brought to you by Kraft and Honey Made Graham Crackers by Nabisco. All three of these ingredients can be combined to make a delicious summertime dessert. Stick with me and I'll show you. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the little bell icon. Now, the best way to start a campfire is with some wood and some fire. When you combine the two, they make a beautiful magical effect that looks just like fire. There comes a point in every fire where you have to tend to the fire. Tend. It's a four letter word and each letter stands for something very important you have to do. T, take the time to look at the fire. E, evaluate the situation. Are there any sticks that have fallen down that need to be put up higher so that they continue to burn? N, never go near the fire close enough that you could burn yourself. And D, the most important part, do not get burned. Now, I'm going to tend to the fire now. This is a tool that everyone should have when you're gonna to tend to the fire. It's called a poker. Sometimes also called as a fire poker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it and I'm going to poke some of the stuff that's on the bottom back underneath the fire. What that does is that provides a fuel source so that these items can continue to burn and the fire will get a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter and a little bit hotter. Now, let's talk about firewood. You're going to want to use a nice pine or elm as your firewood. You want to look and make sure it goes with the grain as you cut it and that you have a nice chopped piece. If you have a good curly grain like this one does, it's going to burn at a higher temperature for a longer time. Now, you want to look and make sure it's straight before you put it in the fire. If you have a warped piece of wood that you put in the campfire, you're going to end up with flames that go off to just one side. That makes it very difficult to do uh, s'mores or if you're going to put some doggies or wieners out there. So you want to make sure you have a real good uh, straight log before you put it in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in the fire. You want to put it perpendicular to the previous boards you have on there. So you just set it in there. Now some people want to have like a special mitt or like a special little grabber thing. I just put it right in. I mean, I'm a man. Now, let's talk shop. This is a s'more making tool. Now you can purchase some of these in stores. I prefer to make mine by hand. What I did for this one was I got an old coat hanger and I shaped it to the form. Then I melted down some old recycled milk bottles, made a hand grip, put it all together. I even made it a little bit of an extension rod, depending on how far away I want to sit from the fire. For example, on a warm night, you might want to sit a little bit further back. On a cooler night, when you need to warm those bones, you want to sit a little bit closer so I can just pull it back in. So in a few minutes, I'm going to show you how we can get the marshmallows going on the fire. Let's talk about opening marshmallow bags. There's a lot of different methods on how to do it. I'm gonna go to the expert on this one. <laughs> do you have any tips for opening marshmallow bags? I would get a nice pair of scissors, sharp scissors. Just run them right along the top. Okay. Those are neither scissors, nor are they sharp. <laughs> so, if you're not... There you go. We got it. Ah. These are little guys. I'm not sure how they're going to grill up, but we're going to find out. Perfect. Now, it does get a little bit smoky when you're right in the fire. A little bit bad on the eyes. Thank you. 
That's actually just the carbon monoxide getting into your lungs. Oh my god, I think I've done it. No! It's falling off. The perfect one? Perfect one? Ooh, oozy goodness. Left over. Oozy goodness. It's like a grilled cheese, only not. I'm waiting for the chocolate to. Now, is there any melteification? No. Oh. I would rate that a failure then. Yep. What's the Trader Joe's on Graham Crackers are better? You heard it here first. Well, we well. actually totally failed tonight on our mission. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm lit on fire. Did not get any meltification. And we got some marshmallows on fire. Hold on. Sorry. Bye. I love fire and marshmallows. Okay. Upon, um, we thought about it a little bit more. Wasn't a total failure. Can you give it a rating? We're going to do uh, on a scale of one to five. How good was it? Five. All right. I think since we made it, oh, it's, it's like a Now, on a scale of um, scale of one to five, what do you rate your marshmallow? On fire. What do you rate your score? Maybe you should mm. put them on the mar on the chocolate while oh, they're four. on fire. Four. Okay. A scale of one to five, what do you rate your marshmallow? Schmore. Five. Five. Glad you like it. Oh, God, I can't see. You're my favorite. Well, that about wraps it up. It's amazing what a nice meal you can have with just a few GCs, some Hershey bars, and a little bit of MM marshmallows. Dad, are you going to have dinner? No, son. That was our dinner. <laughs>